Hello everybody, it's Mrs Collier here again for another phonics session and as always we start with our revisit and review and we go over something we should already know. So today we're going to go over our 5A tricky words. So remember, when you see the word on the screen, make sure you say it nice and loud. <laughs> going to move on to our high frequency words and tricky words today it's mostly high frequency words and our first word today is going to be many m -e -n -e. many as in there are many things we can do with this word and good g -u -d, good we need to know this one because everything's good and our last one today is away a w a away all right so now we're going to move on to our learning for today, which we're back on our alternative pronunciations. And this time it's the OU grapheme. You know, you should have covered this already. And we're just going to look at some different sounds that we can use when we see this digraph. Okay, so let's have a look at the first set of pictures. Now this is the sound you should know, the OW sound. So in the top left corner, we have got a box and the arrow is coming out out okay out and then on the top right corner we've got some clouds out clouds and in the bottom left corner we have got a megaphone and it is making a sound 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 so this version of the word or the, this sound this digraph this owl sound is most usually found in the middle of the word, except in the case of things like out, where it is at the beginning of the word, but generally you'll find it in the middle. Okay, so we've looked at the OU digraph as an ow sound like we're used to, but with these pictures and words, the OU digraph can also make an oo sound. Okay, so top left corner, we've got a lovely hot bowl of soup. S -oo soup and the top right corner we've got some people and they're sitting in a group G -r -oop, group and finally we've got um, a hand and it's pointing it's pointing at you y -u. all right so that's another way that we can uh, another pronunciation another sound we can use when we see the ou digraph with this one it is most Least, mostly found in the middle of the word or in the case of you it's found at the end of the word all right so it's not like our owl sound which can be at the beginning it's more likely to be found in the middle or at the end of um, of our words if you want that sound okay so we will look at some other sounds that this OU digraph can make in our next session but for now we're going to move on to our activity for today and what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to put some of our OU digraph um, words up on the screen. And your challenge today is I want you to use each one of these words in a sentence. And in doing so, I want to see if you can extend those sentences as well. Not just an easy, simple sentence. I want some sentences that are interesting that mean I'm not going to fall asleep. So let's try and use some conjunctions. They're our joining words to make our sentence longer, like because, and, or, so, or but. And maybe some adjectives if you're describing something. Can you add at least two adjectives before the thing or the noun that you're going to be writing about and describe it for me? That's your challenge. That's your task for today. Just remember to make sure you pause the video to have a look at the words. And... That's it. That's the end of our phonic session for today. Well done, everyone. I'm really proud of you. You've all been working so hard. Um, I cannot wait to see the sentences that you're going to come up with today. And 
in our next session, like I said, we're going to go over some other pronunciations of our OU digraph. So until then, I'll see you later.